Hi everyone, welcome to uh, the Student Stories series of videos. We're now going to talk to some of our student ambassadors, Gemma, Jenny and Amy, about researching universities and the application process. So hi guys, thanks um, for joining us on this short talk. So we're just going to spend a really um, short amount of time just talking about the university research and application process and how you came to make your application and the process that you went through. So Gemma, should we just briefly start with you? Would you want to just discuss um, the process that you went through and how you came to make your decision? Sure, yeah. Um, I definitely made the most of the open days. I really wanted to see you know where I'd be studying what was around and things and I just yeah when I came I met my lecturer like my head of head of department um they kind of gave me a better idea of what I would be studying because you can read stuff online but I didn't know half the stuff they were saying um so it was just really nice for them to just kind of talk to me and I get a feel of it um and I don't know what else to say <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's why that's enough, Gemma, because I think that's one of the most important things, isn't it? It's going to an open day and not just reading stuff, but putting, you know, names to faces. And also, I guess meeting current students is really helpful as well, isn't it? Just to chat to them about the course and their perspective, because it seems a bit abstract, doesn't it? Just to have it all on on paper. So, no, that's great. Jenny, how about you? What did uh, what sort of did you go through a process when you th thought about coming to Brighton? Yeah, so for me, it was a lot of um, research, firstly, for knowing what course I wanted to do. Um, I wasn't 100% sure whether journalism was the one. It was a lot of looking up, like whether it's going to be something I enjoyed, or whether it's something I'd be good at. Um, and when I decided it was, and I decided that it was something that I really wanted to pursue, it was then, um, what do I need to actually get into the career? And for that, it was the NCTJ qualification, which is so important um, to all employers. So for me, it was what universities do that. Um, and Brighton was the nearest one to me. It just looked perfect. So I thought I'll apply um, to go to an open day. And I thought, if I don't like this open day, I don't know what I'm going to do because every other um, NCTJ university is very far away. I don't necessarily want to go that far. So I was really like anxious about it. Went along to the open day and actually loved it. I felt really at home. I felt like the course leaders seemed really friendly and really like they were knowledgeable, they knew what they were doing. Um, and I just really felt like I'd just be at home um, at Brighton. So applied and thankfully I'm here now. <laughs> Brilliant. We're, we're really pleased to go here too. That's great. Thanks, Jen. And I think that's really important, isn't it? Because your course, your particular course had that accreditation that's really important. It was probably quite essential for you to do a lot of that research beforehand. So that's uh, really good advice there. Um, Amy, how about you? What was uh, What was your application process like? Yeah, I did quite a similar thing, really. I was looking around like all different types of sport courses. But I knew I wanted to stay in like the southeast kind of. So home for me is London. So I knew that I didn't want to go too far. I wanted to go far enough away, but not too far. If something ever went wrong, I wasn't really far away. Um, open days are definitely a huge thing because obviously I was looking at Eastbourne and I've never lived by the sea. That used to be a holiday thing for me. <laughs> so it was obviously completely different. It's quite quiet as well. So it depends where you want to live. Do you want to live in a big city or more relaxed I use the websites as well of the different unis. So I went to about four different open days. And I think a lot of the time you can get a feel straight away. Usually within about 10 minutes, you kind of feel if you could live there or not. Yeah. And when I was on the Brighton website, I saw about there was offering summer schools, which now looking at it, a lot of the different unis did. So you can apply to different summer schools. Brighton offered all different ones. So for each like kind of school, so like if you wanted to do sport or maths or something, usually there was a summer school. And it was five days just living in Eastbourne. We got to go in the labs, meet a lot of the lecturers. Yeah, so that that helped me find out what it'd be like to live in Eastbourne as well. Right, that's really interesting. Thanks, Amy. And yeah, you, that's a, a really good point. There are loads of universities do offer what are called summer schools. So they just give you first hand experience and some of them are residential as well. So you can actually come and spend time living on the campus. So yeah, really good advice there, Amy. That's great. I mean, just before we um, finish up with the application process, how did you how did you guys find writing your personal statements and, and that sort of side of things. Gemma, how about you? How was how was that? Just in a couple of sentences. Um, personally, I found it a bit stressful, like doing that as well as my A-levels. Um, it was all quite just a lot in a short amount of time. Um, but I just got all the help that I could from my teachers and yeah. my friends and family. And yeah, 
yeah yeah it's uh, yeah it's, it can seem a bit daunting on it because it's like a it's almost like an extra bit of work that you've got to do that's that's really important but um but yeah good advice there i think Gemma. it's probably the same for for you guys as well amy and jenny just do, do your research um and like you know seek support um with that too so that's great i think that's um we'll just draw draw this one to the end now guys but thanks very much it was really reassuring hearing about your personal journeys and how you made um your applications but also how you research to find the right uni for you so thanks very much guys and i'll see you soon thank you <laughs>